Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Please excuse the lighting, I've got my ring light on today because it is so gloomy this afternoon and grey and cloudy, so thank goodness for a ring light. Um, if you're interested and want to know where my ring light's from, it was gifted to me by a friend and she got it from B&M in the UK if you're interested, which I will link below for you. Now, this title is not clickbait, this is completely true i am going to be giving up social media for 40 days and 40 nights i just firstly would like to say that i will still be uploading youtube videos every single sunday at 5 pm if you are new to my channel then hi welcome i would love it if you would hit that lovely red subscribe button and if you are enjoying my videos so far give it a little thumbs up because that means the world to me and shows me that you are liking my content and if there are any video recommendations you wish to see leave them in the comment section bar below and i'll be sure to add it to my list so I am giving up social media for Lent. Now, Lent is a Christian religious experience, I want to say. Um, a lot of a lot of Christians, my auntie included, she well, we both give something up each year for Lent. So it's from the 17th of March to the 3rd of April, and it's at the time period where Jesus Christ was killed and it's a time when Christians reflect and they think about things. It's kind of like a, sac a sacrifice because he sacrificed his life for others, if that makes any sense at all. That's kind of in the the simple terms. I I don't necessarily give something up each year because of the the religion the religious terms of it or why christians some christians do i'm not saying all christians do this but you know i think quite a few of them do i like to give something up each year because i class myself as a privileged adult um i would class myself that i am like i would always borderline middle class because I've got a really lovely home, I've got a job, I can afford food, um, we live comfortably, you know, I can af we can afford for me to work part time and things like that. So I would class myself as quite privileged. So the reason why I give something up each year is to reflect on that, to reflect what other people don't have um, and just to kind of give thanks to, to the benefits that I have in my life and to show appreciation for them and also to imagine what it's like without them. I always like to give something up that I will find quite hard. Last year, I don't remember if I did give anything up last year, but we were in the middle of a like the start of like a global pandemic. I mean, we still are, but you know, I don't think I did anything last year, but the year before that, I gave up money. I did a whole no spend um, apart from George and my mum's birthday, because their birthday is on the 6th of March, so obviously I did something for them, but and essentials like groceries and stuff, but other than that, I didn't spend any money at all. And it was really, really good. I really enjoyed it. Well, I didn't enjoy it. I, it was hard, but, you know, I found it so rewarding and it made me really appreciate money and it made me appreciate what I've got and that I get money and you know that I have a job that provides an income for me so it made me really sit back and think about the people who don't have money and about how the struggles that they live with and you know me not spending money frivolously was a really really good lesson to learn now the reason why I've decided to give up social media so the social media I will be giving up is Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, they're the only really three social medias I use. Like I said, with regards to YouTube, I will still be uploading videos every single Sunday. However, I'm going to refrain from watching YouTube videos because I find myself not only scrolling on social media, but scrolling on YouTube, like scrolling through videos, like comparing myself to people sometimes like, oh, I wish I had that lifestyle and I, you know, wish I had that and this that, and the other. There's also a lot of uh coronavirus um like fear videos on youtube and a lot of press and it just it just 
makes me anxious and it doesn't do well for my anxiety and just really plays on my mind so i'm going to refrain from watching youtube videos during this time of social media i want to get into reading um, my aunt actually sent me a book in the post today and it's a it's a, like an original Enid Blyton famous five book and I'm literally so excited to read this um, it arrived in the post today and it was just so so great so yeah I'm really looking forward to reading that but I want to read some really really good books like this like the famous five collection and things like that um, so yeah that's really good I want to get into reading I want to learn a, a new skill or do things that don't involve me being on this all the time. I find myself going to my phone so much, posting Instagram pictures, being on Facebook, connecting with people, which is great, but I find myself doing so much and I found, and I felt that this that would be the hardest thing to give up. There are people out there who don't have the luxury of a mobile phone, they don't have the luxury of the internet, they don't have the luxury of social media, because social media is a luxury at the end of the day. I know it's, you know, accessible to so many people, but there are people out there who don't have access to it or don't use it and things like that. I also think it will be really good for my mental health to give it up for 40 days and 40 nights. Um, and I'll be documenting on my camera what I get up to during that time without social media and I will on the 3rd of April be posting a video just of what I've been getting up to it's not going to hopefully it won't be a long video it will just be um, little clips here and there of what I do and what I enjoy but as of today at 7 p.m so today is Wednesday the 17th of February, Lily said March then, February, I will be deleting my social media, I will be getting rid of it all, I'll be doing a post on there and yeah, that'll be it for 40 days and 40 nights. I still have WhatsApp for my friends and family and also I'm on Signal so I have that but I don't class those as social media, I class those as like messaging devices and messaging services, a little bit like YouTube. I class YouTube, me making videos and uploading videos as a creative outlet as opposed to social media however watching youtube i would class as a kind of social media because it's things that are being fed to your brain um so if that makes any sense at all but um that's kind of how how that makes me feel this is an extra video for you all today i wanted to explain everything to you it's very exciting and i can't wait to have time away from this i'm going to turn off my notifications as well and just spend less time on my phone i think will be really refreshing so yeah i hope this video wasn't a clickbait well it isn't because i am giving up social media for 40 days and 40 nights it's not so much a religious basis i'm doing it as a reflection as a time to give thanks and gratitude for the life that I have, for the luxuries that I have in my life, and also to think about others who don't have things like this. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you're going to be giving anything up for Lent. My auntie usually gives up chocolate and we do it together, and one of my dear friends is giving up junk food for the 40 days and 40 nights, so good luck to her. Um, if you're going to be giving up anything for Lent, or if you want to join in, you, like I said, I'm not doing it for religious purposes, I'm doing it for my own reasons, so why don't we do it together? What are you going to be giving up? Let me know in the comment section bar below, and like I said, remember to hit that lovely red thumbs, thumbs up button, and remember to hit that lovely red subscribe button, so you never miss one of my videos. Bye!